Welcome. In a previous video I assembled this FL Sun Q5 3D printer, and as I stated in my last video I'm new to 3D printing, so this is all from the perspective of a newbie, and in the previous video I assembled it, in this video I'm going to be running through the calibration procedure. So if you find this video helpful and you want to support this channel, I'll put a link in the description to this 3D printer on Amazon, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I have this all together, I have not plugged it in yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is peel off the protective film on this build plate. I think there is one. Next I'll do the same for the touch screen. Okay, now I'm going to plug it in. I noticed on mine that it was already on, so I'm going to turn it off first. I'll put the power plug in. And I showed in the last video that we switched this to 110 volts. So I'm on a workbench and the cable is not long enough to reach the floor, so I actually brought my surge protector up on my workbench. So if this is on a high shelf, you may want a longer cord, but this is a standard computer cord, so you could probably buy a longer one that would fit. Okay, so now I want to attach the calibration module, and this has a magnet in the bottom, so I'll just place that on here, and then I'll plug the cord in to this connector here. It's the only one still available. Make sure you line it up properly. I'll plug that in. And I just read in the instructions, it says pass the cable through the parallel arms. So I'll move this. So it's running through here. Okay, so now I'm going to switch it on. It just made a squeak sound. I don't know what that was about. Hopefully that was okay. I'm going to tap tool. Then I'll click auto level. And then I'm going to hit auto level again. So I'm going to adjust the camera so you can watch it auto level. And then I'll hit the button. Okay, so it has a message that says, please plug in the leveling switch module before auto level, which I've done. I'll hit confirm. Okay, it just lifted the head all the way up to the switches. And now it's bringing the head down. So it's lowering it until the micro switch is triggered and you'll see a little blue light flash. I'll see if I can get down at that level. Okay, that has completed. So now move Z is flashing, so I'll hit that. It says, please remove the leveling switch module before move Z zero. So I'm going to take that off. So it just uses a magnet. So first I'll unplug it, then I will take it off. The magnet will just release automatically. So I'll confirm that. So now the print head is going down. I'll hit adjust Z now, and you'll see I can adjust this up and down. So I'll hit plus or minus here. And I think this is how far we're moving it. So this says 0.1 millimeters. I don't know if that's showing up very well. So if I hit this, I can change it to 0 0.05, 0 0.1. Okay, so that's adjusting between a tenth of a millimeter and a twentieth of a millimeter, I think, if I'm doing that right. So I'm going to adjust the camera again so you can watch me do this. So it's kind of difficult to focus in on this, but I'm going to put a piece of paper under here. I'm using the instructions it came with and that moves. So I want to hit the minus, I think. Let's see. Yes, the minus is moving it down, and I can move the paper. I feel a little bit of friction there. Okay, and that locked the paper in, so I'm going to go up one. It still seems like the paper's locked in. I'll hit add again. Okay. 
I'm going to change the resolution to 0 0.05 and I'll hit minus, minus, a little bit of drag there. Okay, the paper's locked in, so I'll hit add, add. Okay, so I'm going back and forth, so I have a little bit of drag on the paper. So now I'm going to hit save on the controls. And it's raising the nozzle up now. Okay, I'm back at the controls here and you can see what I was doing. I was hitting this here. So when I have it right here, if I take a little more off, it's locked in, so I want to add. And right there I have just a little bit of drag and that's where I hit save. And it raised the head back up. So now I can hit back, back, and the calibration is done. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I'll put a link below to my playlist where I'll have my other videos. So this is the second video. The first one was assembling it. The next one will probably be a test print maybe. And then we'll go from there. So if you have any questions in the meantime, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.